How's it going guys? This is Mark with At Tech. In this video, I wanna show you how you can find every IP address number that you need on every device that you'll need it on. The three IP addresses you'll want to know and we're gonna show you how to find is your private IP, your public IP, and your default gateway. We'll show you how to find all three of those on every single device that is Mac OS, Windows, iOS, and Android. Before we get started, I wanna define what we're finding. So our private IP address is the address of your computer or your phone inside your local network. All three of these are on the same network, but each of them has a different address so that I can communicate with each device individually. This one can communicate with the iPhone without having to communicate with the Android phone. Each device on your network has its own address that is unique to it. A public IP address, on the other hand, is unique to you. Each person, each person with an internet subscription has a IP address. So everybody in the world has a different IP address. This is one address that gets you to your network. You have to use ports and port forwarding to get the specific devices on your network, but one number, one, but one address will get you to your general network. So my public IP is different than my neighbors, which is why I am able to access my server and I can't access anybody else's and they can't access mine. And then finally, our gateway is the IP address of our router, pretty much. Think of it as your private IP. My phone has an IP address, my computer has an IP address, so does my router, which happens to be the gateway. You'll need your gateway when you wanna configure your router settings, and it's also typically the base IP address number. So for example, let's say my computer is on IP address 192.168.1.25, chances are my router is 192.168.1.1. This is 25, my router would be one. Okay, we've got those things to find. Let's start off with the Mac and show you how to find all three of those things. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up System Preferences. From there, we'll go ahead and choose Network. And then we will choose our Wi-Fi. And then as you can see right up here, it says Wi-Fi is connected to IableTech128 and has the IP address 10.0.1.221. So that is my private IP address. This is the IP address of this computer on my network. Now, like I said, you can infer what your default gateway is going to be. If I get rid of the 221 and I just place it at one, it's 10.0.1.1, which is indeed my gateway. But how do we find that? We'll go to advanced and then we will choose TCP IP. From there, we again have our IP address 10.0.1.221. We have our subnet mask, and then we also have our router. Router is another way of saying gateway because that technically is what it is. It is my router. So there it is right there, 10.0.1.1. That is the gateway. Now, how do we find our uh, public IP? It's not something that's gonna show you specifically on the computer, but you want to go to a website because websites can contact your public IP. They can't give you any sort of private IP numbers. The easiest way and the most reliable way just go to speedtest.net. So right here, it will show you right below your internet service provider, your public IP. So for demonstration purposes, mine is 12.345.678.900. That is your public IP. That is what you can use to remotely log in and access a computer or a server. Let's say I have a server that I wanna communicate with on port 5000. I just enter in my public IP and I do port 5000. As long as I have that port forwarding set up, it'll take me to my server. So that's pretty much how public IP works. And again, websites can't give you your private IP because it is private. They can only tell you your public. So if you just type into Google, what's my IP address, it'll only give you your public IP. Okay, so now let's go on to Windows and figure out how to do it there. From here, we'll go to settings and we will click on network and internet. You can choose whichever one you are on, whether that's Wi-Fi or ethernet. Either of them should work. I want ethernet right now, and then we'll click on my network, and then we'll scroll down to the bottom, and we have a bunch of different numbers, and we've got our IPv4 address, which is 10.0.1.133. Below that, we have our IPv4 DNS server, which happens to be my default gateway and my router. However, for you, it may be different, so this isn't the best way to tell what your gateway is. But in my case, my DNS servers are coming from my router, so in this case, I know it is a viable answer and solution. Next up, we have iOS. We will go to settings, Wi-Fi. We'll click on the I icon right next to our Wi-Fi network. Then again, it will show us our IP address of 10.0.1.92. 
it'll have our subnet mask, and then it will have our router again 10.0.1.1. The speedtest.net app on the iPhone and Android doesn't show you your public IP. So the best way to find that is just go to what is my IP address.com. Just type that in and it will show you not only your IPv4 public IP that you usually use, but also have the IPv6. And it gives you information about your IP address, your service provider, where you live. There's a lot of information that's there just on these numbers, kind of scary. But that's the best way to find it on your phone. But if you don't want to do that on your phone, you can certainly just find it on your computer as long as it's on the same network. And then finally, we have Android. First off, we want to go ahead and open up settings. Then we will choose network and internet. We will choose Wi-Fi. And then we'll click the gear icon on the Wi-Fi network we're connected to. It'll show you some basic information like your frequency, which is pretty cool, as, long as, as well as the strength. We'll click on advanced. And then down below, we will see our IP address and then our gateway. Again, IP address is the private, gateway is the router's IP address, and then you will go to whatismyipaddress.com again to find your public IP. So there you go. I hope this helped you out finding what your IP address is. It's not too confusing, and it's actually pretty easy to find, especially if you're trying to troubleshoot or look through your network settings to figure out what device is what. Works pretty well. And it's a pretty straightforward process. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Hat Tech, and I will see you in the next one.